Hey, if you haven't had a period for a few months or even a few years and you do not know why, maybe you've been to the doctor, maybe you haven't, and you just, you don't know why your monthly cycle is missing, you might just so have hypothalamic amenorrhea. And I want you to know it's super duper common. I'm not throwing out some like weird, rare disease or something that you might have. This is a very likely cause for most women to lose their period. Hypothalamic amenorrhea is when there is a disconnect between the hypothalamus and your reproductive system. And that is happening because the hypothalamus is telling or suppressing the reproductive system on purpose. And we're going to get into that. And first, I'm going to see if any or a combination of the following descriptions sound like you. And if they do sound like you, then this is highly likely what you have. But quick disclaimer, I'm not a doctor. I'm not a physician. I actually just run the HA Society. I run the HA Podcast. And I just am an activist on the subject matter. And I coach women to get their period back but I'm not a doctor or an RD or anything like that. Okay, let us get started. Do you exercise regularly? We're talking five to seven days a week for a few hours at a high intensity. Maybe you do a lot of CrossFit and HIIT workouts. Maybe you run a lot. Um, Maybe you just do a lot of cardio. Maybe you lift a lot of weights, which is what happened to me. If any of these are you and you're just like really focused on your physical activity, getting your steps in, maybe trying to lose weight, or maybe you're an athlete, that very um, consistent schedule of working out can be one of the main causes of hypothalamic amenorrhea. The second thing is if you diet a lot. So are you constantly in a calorie deficit? Are you always trying to lose weight? Are you maybe not necessarily trying to lose weight, but trying to like gain muscle and get that ripped look without gaining body fat at the same time? Are you somebody who is in a, you know, a 1200 calorie deficit? Are you like, is that all that you eat? Or are you actually someone who just maybe cuts back by about a hundred or 200 calories a day um, in an attempt to lose weight? You know, it doesn't feel very aggressive to try and lose weight like that. But if that is you, you really might have hypothalamic amenorrhea. Okay, the third one is if you focus on your food quality a lot. Like, are you paleo? Are you vegan? Are you like really focused on where your food comes from? This can result in potentially under eating calories and you don't realize just because there's a few food groups missing. Or it could be, I mean, even just the stress of worrying about what you can and can't eat. And if you're restricting some food groups, maybe you're getting enough calories. Maybe you feel fed, but you might be eating a lot of the same foods and not getting like a broad range of nutrients. So really being focused on what you can and can't eat can be a contributing factor to a loss of your period. And then the fourth one is if you're going through a stressful time emotionally, um, did you just go through a breakup? Did you lose a loved one? Are you just moving cities and that's scary and stressful? So if you're going through something that's mentally stressful, this can make your body, your brain feel just as unsafe to reproduce and have a baby as, you know, over-exercising and under-eating can. So typically, hypothalamic amenorrhea is caused by a combination of one, two, or even all of the above mentioned things. I think that it's not crazy to assume that if you're working out really hard, you're probably dieting or watching what you eat a lot. And you're probably a really driven person who's super focused on their career. I know it sounds crazy for me to be sitting here saying you're doing everything right and that's your problem. But it's true, like society has really made us think that to be the perfect woman, we need to be have our career in on check on the rail. I can't think of like the term for that, but, you know, we need to have our career on point and need to we need to be working really, really hard to get there. And we also think that while we do that, we need to have the perfect body and we need to work out a certain way and watch what we eat eat a certain amount of food, eat certain things, don't eat that, do do this. And it's all just a lot of pressure. 
it's a lot and you don't even realize because you think everyone else is doing that too. But here's the reality. Everyone else is struggling in some way. And for you, it might be a loss of a period. That is what happened to me. And to be quite honest with you, I think that it's a blessing because it's tangible. It's something you can see is happening physically and you cannot argue with it. So when you're in this state of stress, under fueling, um, over exercising, super, super stressed, your body is just like, whoa, your brain tells your reproductive system, it says, ovaries, we're not growing any follicles, uterus, we are not building uterine lining, we're not releasing any eggs, we are not ovulating, we are not going to bleed because this is a stressful time, makes a lot of freaking sense, it's a very smart thing that our body does to protect us, but it's not good long term, so missing a period or being late here or there, that's okay, that's a like what it's supposed to do, right, but missing them all, I mean, three or more months, you need to look into this because your body does not operate independently of anything inside of you, except maybe like your wisdom teeth. Everything else has a purpose and your reproductive system is not this optional extra that's like working on its own. You need it in order to have healthy bones. You know what? There's even like so much research they're doing right now they don't even have all the information yet but they know it's probably linked to heart your heart health it's definitely linked to endometriosis it's definitely linked to your bone health they are they have shown that it is linked to your brain health and your overall fertility like if you want to get pregnant and you don't have a period mm. so let's talk about getting it back really quick rest and recovery eat food chill out out and back off the workouts. Now, this is the thing that is the hardest to deal with. Like I said, you've been told you need to be all of these things to everyone and present in a certain way. And that is really stressing you out. And I remember the first time I was told this, I was like, you don't know what you're talking about. Everyone everywhere expects all of these things from me and you're telling me that I can't handle it that my body can't handle it that can't be it I must just be missing a certain supplement I must just have um, a unique (laughs) condition or something like that but no this is very common and you are not alone and if you see other girls living a life similar to you you know they might have a hormonal issue going on too and I wouldn't I wouldn't doubt it and even if they do have their period there are other things that can be going on with their period or with their health with their thyroid maybe they have a period but they have a really short luteal phase in their period like there's so much that can be going on so you are not the only one struggling we are all struggling okay that was a bit of a tangent but yeah If you're missing your period and anything that I described today sounds at all like you, even just a little bit, because sometimes we can be in a bit of a denial, I'm really glad that you found me. Um, And you can come and listen to the HA podcast, or you can just subscribe to this channel. And I will just keep putting out information to help you get your period back. Cannot wait to chat with you. If this sounds like you and you have more questions or this has just been really insightful for you, please comment below and I would love to chat with you about what you just learned today. Thank y'all.